everybody in this video i'm going to share with you five books that are a must read for every pregnant woman stay tuned book number one what to expect when you are expecting well in this book i especially like the part about the labor and i found that it covered all the information which i had got from my prenatal classes this book has been around for quite a while and it is definitely worth having a read i would highly recommend this book to any female who's expecting i loved its layout and especially the dad's part book number two Hypnobirthing by Marie Mongan. This is another book I feel every pregnant woman should read even if she is not planning on having a natural birth or using hypnosis. Well, there is way too much fear surrounding birth. So this book basically helps you in preparing for birth spiritually, physically and emotionally. One of the lessons that I took away from this book is breathing through difficult moments in life. Well, this definitely applies to childbirth which is the primary focus of this book but I am finding it very useful in my day-to-day -day parenting. I can confidently say that the techniques taught in this book have really helped me feel calm and collected in moments where I would otherwise lose patience. Book number three, The Secret by Rhonda Bryan. I am a strong follower of The Secret and there's a huge list of things that I have manifested using the law of attraction. I was introduced to this book by my master trainer of hypnotherapy. If you're having a lot of negativity, facing failure again and again, or you simply want to know more about mind, this book is definitely for you. I can confidently say that secret helps in planting the seed of mind power really very well. It also introduces us to the concept of law of attraction which if combined with gratitude can help in manifesting anything, be it in the area of health, wealth or relationship. While reading this book, I felt very very grateful to the things which I have in my life and the things which are going to come in my life. Here I would like to add a very important thing. This book is probably not for the ones who have a very practical approach towards their life. This book is probably for dreamers and believers just like me. Book number 4 The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy In this book you understand that the conscious mind is like a driver and the subconscious mind is like an engine. The book starts with the explanation and reason to why the author decides to write this book. Then it tells you about how the mind works and then straight away dives into the concept of power of subconscious mind and the way to use the power of your subconscious mind by giving example of the people who have applied it in their day to day lives. And as I said, these are practical ways. So until unless you apply what the author has said, this book is not useful for you. Now this book also says that you can achieve the unexpected by giving positive stimulus to the brain. And this made a lot of sense to me. After reading this book, I kind of got an explanation to many things which are happening in my life. Book number 5 Laughter Yoga for Health and Happiness by Dr. Madan Kataria. Well, this book not just talks about the laughter movement which is going on around the world, but it also talks about the benefits, the health benefits of laughter. We all know that laughter is the best medicine for mind and body, but there has been no system to show how to implement and deliver it. Now, all the women out there must be thinking whether laughter is safe for pregnancy. Yes, it absolutely is. I got my training as a laughter yoga leader when I was in my fifth month of pregnancy. Laughing releases hormones that counter stress and help your body stay healthy. Just make sure that you don't fall off your chair or jump around as that might be harmful whether you are laughing or not. So guys, books have been a source of knowledge for centuries. There is at least one book written on every single topic under the sun. Books are not only written to educate, they are also written for leisure and even for the metamorphosis of the soul. And lastly, I would like to add that it has been scientifically proven that reading releases hormones which is good for the baby's brain. Now, don't you want baby Sherlock Holmes in the womb? So that's all for today. If you have liked the video, show your support by giving a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so as not to miss the videos that I upload in future. Bye for now.